I was an actor since I was 15 years old. And in New York, you were just an actor. So that meant that in New York, you could go to the theater, you could do a commercial, you could do a radio commercial, you could do an on-camera commercial, you could sing in a nightclub, you could take class all day, and you were just called an actor. Uh, so I did a lot of radio commercials and television commercials and plays, et cetera, et cetera. And it wasn't until I came to Los Angeles that uh, uh, I was called something voice actor uh, because I had done uh, My Little Pony in New York. But I'm not a man! I'm a dragon! Whoa! I don't have a process. The only thing I really do process is digestion and the outcropping of that. That's to me is a process. I don't think acting is a process. I think you either act or you don't act. And I think particularly uh, with something as spontaneous as animation, that my improv background has helped me enormously. It's a combination of improv acting, theater acting, and character acting. I don't think, I think thinking is dangerous. So thinking would imply, would suggest a process, and you're giving me way more intelligence than I have. I don't think about it, I just figure it out. My acting absolutely informs directing because I have a short, I have a shorthand with actors, and a language that 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 I feel I would want also to be used on me. Because I know that actors' energy, when you're working, you don't want to be stymied. You don't want to have to listen to, well, um, it's you know, you, I'm already gone. As an actor, I've also learned a very different sense of what goes on on the other side of the booth. So my patience level is way higher sometimes and way lower sometimes based on what's going on in there. Because if I think it's really unnecessary, I'm thinking now as the director, cut to the chase to the people in the room. Stop wasting time, you're killing me. And then sometimes I have great compassion and I go, oh my God, they're really, putting her who's in the ringer. When I was in the theater, one of the best parts was I got an immediate response. But this isn't the theater, so I don't even know who's out there. I don't even know when or where, unless I go to a convention, that it, it's landed anywhere, which is lovely when it does. It's so gratifying. Two decades later, three decades later, but in the actual work itself, it's just gratifying to be able to be useful. God, I love acting. I still love acting. I love it! And I thought, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I can still feel this. Because I have...